Hello guys, so yes, we have been discussing the Gencore 2024 paper solutions and in this video, we'll discuss the digital electronics and the electromagnetic theory solutions. So have a look into this. There's only one question from digital uh, that has come up in the paper and that too very straightforward. In a JK flip-flop, if the input of K flip-flop is inverted from that of the J input, the resultant flip-flop is okay. If you have studied, it should be there in your notes. It is a D flip-flop. When you, okay, when you come, when you connect the K from the J, it becomes D flip-flop. When you invert J and then connect to the K, it is the D flip-flop or else you can see it once again. So, you know, I have the J and K inputs, okay, to this flip-flop where, okay, the K is connected, inverted as that of the J, okay, inverted as that of the J. Okay, and now let's say uh, I name here something as x. Now, what is the next state equation? Dear, what is the next state equation uh, for the JK flip flop? The next state equation is given by JQ bar plus the K bar Q and J into Q bar. What is there at the J? I have named it as x. So, x into Q bar plus K bar. Now, K gets the x bar. So, K bar will further becomes x again. x is common. Q bar plus Q is eventually 1, okay, and hence Q plus equal to X, which is just like a D flip-flop. You can now name it as the D input, Q plus equal to D, the data copy of the D latch. Okay, so it's a D flip-flop, I can say. Correct answer is option number C. But yeah, if you have thoroughly gone through your notes, then this is one of the direct question I can say. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is only one question from Digital Electronics that is there in the paper. Three questions from the EMF. Okay, mostly very basic question. Okay, so... Let's go to this one. Uh, now, two identical coaxial circular coils carry the same current I, okay, but in opposite directions. Okay, they carry the same current I, okay, but in the opposite directions. Identical. So, identical, of course, would mean I will assume them having the same radius. Okay, and they also, they also carry the equal current. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in the opposite directions. Okay, but in the opposite direction. Okay, so say if this is current in one of the direction, if it is clockwise, another one can be taken as anti-clockwise. Okay, now they carry the same current but in opposite direction. The magnitude of the field, magnetic field at a point on the axis midway between the two coils. Okay, so let me draw the axis of both of them first of all. Okay. Okay, so... So that's what I'm telling. This is carrying current I. The other one is carrying in the opposite direction. And because of that, at, and at the point on the axis, which is midway, which is midway, the electric fields, no need to calculate, but electric fields will have the same magnitude because I'm taking at the point on the midway. Okay, but they will have opposite direction. The field calculation due to straight conductors or circular conductors is what commonly you derive from the biot savet law. Okay, so also, you know, for some symmetric configurations possible from the Ampere circuit law also, but here we don't need to apply any formula, symmetry problem, simply you can say the answer is zero because both the currents are in opposite direction. Okay, both the currents are in opposite direction and equal distance midway between the two coils. So distance is also equal. So magnetic field here due to both of them are acting in the opposite direction. Let's go to the next one. That's also a straightforward question we can say. Okay, now this is also a straightforward, you know, just, uh, you know, a theoretical question I can say. Okay, match the following relation to so electrostatic field. So E, for electrostatic field, del cross E is 0. Okay, if it is time varying field, then del cross E is not equal to 0. Then there will be the Faraday's law of, in, uh, you know, electromagnetic induction coming up. Okay, now magnetostatic field, ampere circuit law, del cross H equal to J. Okay, del cross H equal to J. Okay, del cross H equal to J. Generally, we can say not equal to 0, but it can become equal to 0 for if the sigma is 0. But yeah. Let's put the general form del cross H equal to J. That is what is the ampere circuit law for the static field. For a time varying field, there is another term displacement current density that is added to it. Okay. Now Gauss law in the point form del dot D equal to rho V. Okay. In general, del dot D equal to rho V. Again, if there is a charge free medium, rho V will be zero. The del dot D can be zero. That is a specific case. But in general, del dot D equal to rho V. So what is the correct option? Okay. So X matches with the P. Okay. Why uh, with the S? Y not with R, Y with S and Z with T. Okay, option number B. Option number B. Okay, the correct answer is option number B here. Okay, so uh, straightforward, direct question. Next one, again a very direct question from Coulomb's law. Very easy electromagnetics, I can say. Point charges Q1, 1 nanocoulomb, Q2, 2 nanocoulomb are at a distance apart, are at a distance apart. Maybe they are calling A as the distance. Okay, which of the following statement is incorrect? Okay, 
So which of the following statement is false? The force on, the force on Q1 is repulsive. Yes, it should be repulsive. This is true. We have to identify the false one. Okay, this is true because, okay, the charges are like charges. Okay, same. Okay, plus plus. Okay, so like charges repel each other. The force on Q2 is same as the force magnitude on Q1. Your yeah, magnitude on force on both of them is the same. Okay, and the force on any of the charges along the line joining them. Okay, so D option is also true. Okay, this is option 2. Okay, normally you write this way. Na? K Q1 Q2 divided by R square unit vector AR. Where AR is the unit vector along the, along the line joining the two points. Okay, now as the distance between them decreases, the force increases. This the, At least force increases. It, this part is correct because force is inversely proportional to the distance. Okay, so if the distance decreases, force increases, but not linearly. So that is why the statement goes false. It increases definitely. They are inversely related, but not linearly. It's a square relation. F is proportional to 1 by R square. Okay. Okay. So option number C is false. We need to choose as the choose the incorrect answer. Option number C. Okay, is the correct one. Okay, option number C is the correct one. Okay, this was the third question from EFT. So yeah, this was a small video because there are only uh, one question from digital and uh, you know three from the EMFT and all of the four I will say very easy one. Okay, so uh, you know again EMFT very simple digital one question very simple. Okay, as I have told in the earlier video also microprocessor also one question simple communication two questions straightforward signals was moderate level I will not call it as uh, very straightforward. 2-3 questions were straightforward, 2-3 required like they were 2-3 questions were straightforward like this, 2-3 required some conceptual analysis and even one or two required some calculation. So signals was better. Okay, but all the other subjects like EMFT, digital, microprocessor, they were very straightforward. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care.